friends, this is the audio only interrogation of Kenston Yi. Let me give you some context to the story before I play the interrogation. On June the 14th, 2010, retired army veteran Kenston Yi killed his family in Northern Virginia. He murdered his wife, who was named Hyon. She was 47 years old at the time. And he murdered his adopted daughter, Joy, who was 24. Yi claimed to police at the time he was suicidal. He had taken around 13 ambient pills, hoping he would overdose and die. Yi himself served 30 years in the army. Please keep in mind the audio isn't clear and I've done my best to make it as clear as possible. This is how I received the interrogations. Sometimes the audio is quite static. Just so you know, Kenston was found guilty and he was sentenced to serve 20 years for each murder, so a combined total of 40 years. No, your, the pills, how many pills have you taken? Well, I, I've been taking pills of Enron, um, uh, um, uh, I, 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 What else have you been taking? Uh, I guess only something went something wrong. Uh, uh, what else I took? I took the uh, next muscle relaxer. Mm -hmm. well, do you know what kind of muscle relaxer it was? Uh, Trade. Stress something. Uh, Cholesterol? No, relax, relax, relax. That's our phone. Uh, Do you remember the name of the of the uh, muscle relaxer? I got a flexor roll. Mm -hmm. How much did you take of that? At night. Before you go to bed? Mm -hmm. how, much, how much ambient did you take last night? One. Just one pill? Okay. How many flexor roll? How many flexor roll have you taken? I'm not taking any nutrients, that's all. To what? No, I don't think I am. Not this all. You said you took a muscle, muscle, muscle relaxer, you don't know the name of it? No, I took this flexible, the name of the medicine is flexible. Right. But uh, I don't have any nutrients. Oh, you don't have, you're out of it. No. Oh, okay. But you have, you're prescribed flexible. Okay. Any other um, pills that your prescriptions that you have? Yes, yeah, that's stress management uh, medication. Mm -hmm. so what's that? It's mentioned in the uh, Dr. Mark Ramron, uh, just a uh, medication for the Wellbutron. Uh, and, uh, Wellbutron? Well, there's a, there's a, there's a show in uh, Wellbutron. Okay. Uh, Mm. Is it for anxiety? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take. And, uh... <laughs> but, Lieutenant Colonel, do you understand why we've asked you to come down here and talk with us today? Okay. Well, obviously, you were at the hospital. You're very, you're very, you were very groggy. You're starting to, you know, starting to wake up. Um, but you know, we want to talk to you about some incidents that happened last night. All right. Um, have you ever been arrested before for anything? No. Okay. You're not under arrest now. Okay. 
we're just here talking. Like I like we said, we asked you to come down here. You agreed to come down. We gave you a ride. Um, but at some point, if you don't want to talk anymore, that's fine. You don't have to, okay? We, so we have the door closed just for the privacy so people don't know your business. You understand that? Okay. Um, but you know, be, because of everything that's gone on, I'm, I'm going to read your rights to you, okay? Just so you know what's going on. And, and the reason I was asking you so many questions about the medicine you've been taking is to try to get an understanding of, of where you are right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you all doped up? Um, how, do you, how do you feel? Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you fully comprehend what's going on here? What? Um, oh, you're Miranda already. You're talking about Miranda. Correct. Okay. I mean, you're not under arrest now, but I'm, I'm going to read your rights to you anyway. Okay? Do you understand that? Obviously, you, you use the word Miranda, so you must you know what that means, correct? What 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 language do you feel more comfortable speaking in? English. English. Okay. Where are you from? Okay. But you you've obviously retired military here. How many years did you do in the military? Twenty one. Twenty one years. Why did you retire? Why? Why did you retire? Uh, I have to move on and do something else. You're ready for a change? Yeah, my wife's to thrill to stay on. She was tired of the military? All right. Um, other than the, the one pill of Ambien that you took, um, are you under the influence of any other drugs or alcohol right now? Did you drink any alcohol last night? Do you drink? Mm -hmm. Don't drink alcohol at all? No. Okay. So other than the one pill of Ambien, anything else that you failed to mention? You said the Flexerol, you didn't take because you're out of the prescription. And the, uh, the stress management pills, the Welbutrol, Welbuterol, uh, did you take a pill of that or no? No, no I, haven't, I haven't tried uh, I haven't tried it. Shit for you. After the meal, I mean, do you keep forgetting to take it? All right. Still out of this form here. Is it Carl G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I, I might have missed when I stepped out. Where, what did you do in the military? Um, uh, short, shortly, I'm not even going to sort of talk about it. I was a cognitive fire counselor. Okay. I think I can tell the place coordinating all this and keep operating and stuff in the TMJ. Over in Korea? Yeah, in car house and supporting uh, Obama, the Obama Yamasaka. Were you, what, 2nd Infantry Division? Yeah, I was on contact with those guys to play. We had small island. And supporting them. When were you over there? Because I was over there in 84. 84? Yeah. I think it's going to say on the other time then. I can't hear you. What? Anything you want to know about the 
when you were over where over Korea? Were you over there in eighty four? Um, yes, sir. Korea about Korea about some time. Were you were you stationed in Yongsan or where? I was stationed in Yongsan. Uh, commuting to France or Frisburg. Then uh, when we moved to Tantan, Tantan, we moved down to Vegas Vacancy. Now uh, I take away it. I eat it. Eat it on. What did you look at? Namsan apartment still there? Remember Namsan, where the tower is? Namsan Tower? I was there many, many years ago. Why don't you drink some water to try to wake yourself up? Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. I know you've, had, you've had a long night, I understand. I know you were asking questions, and I'm not. I'm not clearly, sir, answer it, you know. Uh, sir. I don't know. Like, like, like you mentioned, we're, this is, we're going over your Miranda rights, okay? It says on the June 14th. 2010 at 11.20 a.m. We're at uh, CID at Fall 4 Belvoir, okay? You were advised by Detective Neal of the Fairfax County Police Department that he was investigating the commission of the crime of malicious wounding or homicide. And this, these are your rights, okay? So you have the right to remain silent. You're not required to say anything to anyone at any time or answer any questions. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything you do or say can and will be used against, against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes? Yes. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before being questioned, and you also have the right to have a lawyer lawyer with you while being questioned. Do you understand that? Yes. Yes? Okay. You're shaking your head yet. yes up and down, so I just make sure that's a yes. yes. If I cannot afford a lawyer, if you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, you will be pr provided for one at no cost. Do you understand that? If you're willing to answer questions now, you will still have the right to stop answering questions at any time. Do you understand that? Okay. I'm putting my initials by these because I read these to you. Okay? What I'd like you to do is read this and um, sign here, please. And what this is saying that you're willing to speak, and you know what your rights are, and you understand what your rights are. Okay? Like I, like I told you before, you're not under arrest. This is the voluntary, but I wanted to make sure you knew what your rights are in case things change. We want to be upfront with you since, you know, like I said, you've had a long night. And obviously you're coming down off of the Ambien or whatever medication that you took. Okay? You don't have to sign it. You can just talk to us if you like. All right? Sometimes we just have a little card and we read it out loud. We don't even use a form. But the form is sometimes that, that way you can see it right in front of you. I can see it. There's no, um, sometimes if I read too fast, you have an opportunity to read it yourself. Um, but it's totally up to you whether you sign it or not. You don't have to. And that doesn't prevent us from talking if you want to talk. Just, just, all, all I want from you is that you understand what your rights are. Yeah, you got everything I read. Do you, do you understand it? Yeah. Uh... Honestly, if there's some questions and some things we need to talk to you about. You know that, and I know that. Okay. In order to do that, to be the most fairish to you, we wanted to read your rights to you. We didn't have to do that. You're here on your own. All right? But we want to make sure that everything is up front with you so you know what's going on. All right? Obviously, you know there's some issues at your house. In order for us to talk about that clearly and fairly to you, we felt it was best to read your rights to you. All right? Like I told you, there's not a warrant for your arrest. You're not under arrest. You can stop talking anytime you like. Okay? We have, do we have concerns about your mental health? Absolutely. You know, it's not a normal day in Lieutenant Colonel's life that he wants to hurt himself and walk into a hospital. That's not normal. It wouldn't be normal if I did it or if John did it. All right? What I want to know from you, do you understand all these rights that I read to you? Yeah. You understand them, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You prefer not to sign it? No, no, I'm going to sign it. Okay. 
Uh, this one, uh, Miranda. Here. Miranda. Can I use this? This Miranda calls close uh, uh, the content. The content goes to all all agency. Mr. DOD. No, no, it has nothing to do with the DOD. This, no, is, this has to right do with Fairfax right. County. Or my finger is. Correct. This has to do with Fairfax County. Where this is not a DOD case. Um, you know, after we're completed, we completed our investigation. The um, obviously, the, you know, CID are going to have questions for us because you walked onto an army base, you drove onto an army base, and you talked to people at the hospital. Um, obviously, they have an interest in what's going on. Um, but this this is not a, a CID case or a DOD case. You live in Fairfax County, and that's what they called us. Okay, do you understand that? Okay. Lieutenant Carl, obviously that you're upset. You've had you've had a rough evening and obviously probably longer than that. Um, I'm yeah. Right. Has has this been going on for a while? You haven't been getting any sleep or, or what? Excuse me, it's been going on for three, three and a half months. Three and a half months? And what's the cause of your and lack of sleep? I, and I had, um, <coughs> truthfully, similar uh, circumstances where, mm -hmm. where I was put on a uh, probation list. It's a, excuse me, eligibility, eligibility list. Okay. Um, I just found something going on, okay. Uh, Oh, excuse me, I haven't, okay. I haven't eaten anything except that for myself. Do you want to see if I can find you something to eat? Don't, don't, don't. Uh, I don't know where to begin. But... Oh, we'll begin wherever you want to. Do you, do you, you want some, I don't know what they have here, I don't work here. But I, I can see if I can try to find you a candy bar or something. Would you like something? Does that help settle your stomach? That's okay. How long are the questions? Well, it just it. Hopefully, hopefully not too long. It's eleven thirty now, and we can stop whenever you like. Obviously, you know we're concerned about what we found at the house, yeah. um, and the circumstances behind that. You know, this is this is not the great who done it. Yeah, we we're trying to figure out really right now is why. I don't. I don't. Or are you I mean are you so sleep deprived that you made some poor decisions that, that led to this? I I just don't know what to do. Right. Well, I I can tell you the best thing to do is just to be completely honest. That's the only way that we can help you at all is to be completely honest. What's happened? We can't change that. I don't know. You know, you can't change it. I can't change it. Priest, the minister, they can't change it. All right, so now we have to deal with what's in front of us. And right now we need to do what's best for Lieutenant Colonel Yee and how do, how do we help you out? All right, the best thing for you obviously is not just throwing, putting you in jail and throwing away the key. You've got some issues going on in your head that you need help with. And is, there, is there any particular reason that your home life right now is not working out, that it's complicated, that, that you're having problems sleeping? What's going on? Yeah, the problem is so kind of congested, you know, time that you can see clothes laying around around laundromat. Um, what's con what's congested? Your your life is congested? The apartment? The apartment. Oh, the apartment's congested. Yeah, the okay. apartment is congested. You mean like messy? Yeah, it's messy. It's okay. Not, it's not in living condition. And has this been building up for some time? Have you talked to your, to your wife about how messy the apartment was? Yeah. Is she Korean also? She's, she's not creating mess. Uh, She's naturally messy? It's not a matching messy. He, he cleans up after herself. She cleans up after herself, okay. Well, why is the apartment messy then? I 
I am mad nervous is not easy to talk about. And there have been many people sitting in a chair where you are that have a difficult time talking about things that happened in their lives. But the only the only way to to recovery is to try to work this out in your head and with your with your soul is trying to get, to get this out in the open and, and talk about it. I'm sure you know the, the, the doctors you've talked to with stress management and anxiety, you know, that you're not supposed to hold things in. You're supposed to get them out and talk about them, aren't you? Mm-hmm. So I mean, this, is, this is a step in this process. You've obviously made some choices. Now we have to deal with the consequences. You know, I don't know what the consequences will be, but I know that people who cooperate and tell the truth and tell their side of the story and give a justification of, of choices they made come out a lot better than other people do. I mean, you know, you have a very strong military background. You made a lieutenant colonel, very respectable career, so you know all about responsibility and taking taking ownership of your actions, correct? That's what the Army teaches. we got to be accountable for our actions. So that's what we're asking you to do, is to take account for your actions. And then we, on the back side of that, we'll do as much as we can to help you. And you know, Lieutenant Colonel Yee decided to make the path that he made in the last 24 hours. Okay? And now we have to take ownership of that. Right, wrong, or indifferent, the choices have been made, and here we are. <laughs> Man, when you, you talk about the houses. The house is so congested. Is it always congested, or just re- recently? Has something changed in your family? something changed in your family to make it this way? Yeah, something may have happened. Changed this way, smaller congested area. <laughs> right. <coughs> Temporary housing. Uh, with the process process of uh, you know, building a house. Okay. And uh, it was too large, large for me, large for us. So. And so we backed out of it, mutually backed out of it. Backed uh, out of the house? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you moved into this apartment? Yeah, then we decided to temporarily just house here because we were on the upper hand, on the upper metro side, south, south housing lot, lots. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. How long have you been in the apartment in Oregon? Uh, the South Oregon, one year, Marco. Are you guys enjoying the apartment, or is it too small for you? <sighs> Just small. Is it one bedroom or two? It's a two bedroom. Okay. How many people live there? Two. I'm a three. It's one dog. Uh, yourself and your wife. What's your name? Happy. Happy. Your wife's name is Happy. No, I'm from Joy. Joy is my captain. 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 Yeah. That's my name. Joy. What's your wife's name? Uh, Hyun. H Y O N. H Y O N. Hyun. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Does she have an American name? Hannah. We go by Hannah. Hannah. And her last name G. Yes, sir. And that's Y I. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir. And do you have a daughter or a son? We have a thirteen-year-old daughter. Thirteen-year-old daughter. Okay. And her name is is that Joy that you refer to? Okay. So just the three of you live in the apartment. Does Joy have her own bedroom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Have, no, I'm sorry, two bedroom. Joey was sleeping on the other side. I was having a problem. I swapped the chair, swapped the bedroom. So you switched? Dad, yeah, so mom and dad are sleeping in one area and I'm sleeping in the other. So you said mom and Joy are sleeping in one room and you're sleeping in the other? Yeah. Okay. What? How come you and your wife aren't sleeping together? Because if you're not, you're restless at night or just domestic problems? No, we don't have any domestic problems. She okay. uh, snores a lot. Snores a lot. You snore or she does? No, I, I you do. do. Okay. Both of them, though. 
Both of them. Okay. She had a CPAP machine turned on. She had to use a CPAP machine. That's that causes uh, you know, insomnia. And also, I was a uh, uh, CPAP machine I got from uh, the Uh is it you use the sleep apnea machine or does Hannah? Is it? Does your wife use it or do you use it? Oh, that, no, I use it. She's got an appointment this month to, to uh, pull my, pull my head. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Oh, I'm, you're fine. I'm just... Uh, no need to apologize. I took... You know... Uh, We'll get through this. You know, there's no need to apologize. Okay. I mean, obviously, you took a little more than one ambient bill, right? <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'm so proud. I'm so alive. Well, why? Why did you want to hurt yourself? I'm not going to be able to handle this job. Number one. Right. Which job is that? Uh, but, but, uh, yeah. Was that with the DOD? Mm -hmm. What is your new job? Mm -hmm. What is it about your job that you don't think you can handle now? Uh, the new job is uh, about 90,000 90, a year? Mm -hmm. Okay. But what kind of responsibilities were you going to have in that job that you were worried about? Which one? The third one? The first one or the second one? Second one. No, you said that you were worried about your new job. What is it that you're worried about? Uh, not prepared for the presentation. I have to go to start, uh, you know, first thing Monday, you know, just to generate a few, few notes. So yeah, I have all of it. And the other people can listen to it, you know. All right. What kind of presentation was it supposed to be? Uh, VIP presentation and the trial that we're having, and top of the and top of the trial that we're having. VIP, VIP means to, you know, Asian, Asian generals, mm -hmm. one star general, and National Guard Bureau. Uh, um, so it was important to you to do a good job. You were worried about doing a good job and being prepared. When was the presentation supposed to take place? Uh, it's a, it's a window. Saturday. I mean, not Saturday. Window on Tuesday, Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday. Are, are you prepared to do that? Are you still working I'm, on I'm it? I'm not sure. Just on the new ideas. When I go over there on Monday, uh -huh. they tell, they'll call the town what to do. Right. And then uh, General Casey's coming out and all these uh, joint staff, uh, you know, strategic uh, planners, they want to, you know, they want to uh, they want to make sure uh, they're used effectively in combat right. uh, uh, operations. And you're worried about your preparedness for this presentation? Yeah. Okay. Was that bothering you as much as how um, messy the house was? Was it all kind of building up? Yeah, it is also building up. And also the contract that I, uh, of the ISC. Uh, it was in the lines when I was heavy. I was supposed to have a full time, and it's gone. It's Why is it gone? Well, obviously, I'm not sure what the uh, circumstances are. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hurt on. I sure should, but. Does, does um, Hannah work? Hannah didn't work up in that. Hannah work up in that. So I 
and I didn't work at work at NNC. Yeah, does she work at all? Does she work at home or does she work outside the home? Mm-hmm. Since she worked at home, I don't know. She worked. And then whenever she can, she, can, she works uh, out of uh, home office, not home office. Okay, what does she do? What kind of work does Anna do? Okay. For a company or for herself? The Marine Corps. For the Marine Corps. Okay. Is she in the Marine Corps? Retired? Or a contractor? Um she she is great. Okay. All right. And she's still employed there now? Okay. How about Joy? Where does she go to school? Uh, South County. South County Lynn. Well, what grade is she in? She's uh, finishing my grade. Okay. And how's your relationship with your daughter? Teenage years, you know, we get along fine. We get along fine. Uh-huh. Uh, but my expectation is too demanding, too high. Right. Uh, you put a lot of pressure on her? Um, she thinks. Yeah, I think so because I'm not. Uh, I'm in a gloomy, showing gloomy face as I walk around and, uh-huh. and try to. You you say you show a gloomy face. Is that a word that she uses, or is that your word? I see. No, you said that you should walk around showing a gloomy face. Is that something that Joy has told you? Uh-huh. Okay. My my wife and Joy reminds me. You know, I'm I'm too gloomy. Right. You know, in in their in their minds, have they told you why they think you're gloomy? What's the cause of your gloom? No, I I didn't, I didn't talk to them. Okay. So has any anything happened during the last week that that made you very, more upset than normal? Uh, last week, not last week, but a couple of weeks ago, where a general officer, senior, senior officer, uh, steering committee meeting, and we had to ask him to execute that and, and, and up to an operation. My chief, French, chief of uh, CIO, I was responsible for putting it putting it together and turning it down. Just like there you have a tent out there, we'll have a shelter tent, summer tent. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and when, when it was time to go, there was some rental cars. We were told not to, everybody rent a car. So, so I inquired about how you guys, how you, uh, how you guys getting, getting to uh, Fort Belt and the last minute uh, coordination, well, how are you getting there? And she was a little... <sighs> more with you, sir. I, I'm just, what's going on? Uh, we're, we're, just, we're, just, we're just talking. I was trying to grab something. Um, oh, I hate to. Um, Something out of the hayfield? Yeah, we, we have to uh, take happy, uh, happy out of the hayfield uh, for a few, few months, at the end of the month. Pull out, because she was being, she was being influenced by her. Uh, can I stand up? Mm-hmm. Sorry, sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you need any help getting up? I'll just leave here. window. I'm not Okay, so you can stand up, that's fine. So she was going to South County, but was she at Hayfield first? She was, uh... Okay, when we moved to Prince William Park, we found County Parkway. Right, on the way to Woodbridge. Yeah, uh, we... We promised that we'd move, move, move down in the new school year, that new location over there in this area. Okay. We research, research, hey, was it. 
when they when they arrive, they leave the morning school district to, to make sure both stars are down house all the So we flipped it. We sold the house. We, we came down to research for it. That's why there's a show period. That's why I put, uh, put the remote section. So was she going to school at Hayfield first? Yeah, she's she's going to uh, from the beginning, beginning uh, first 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 week of first beginning. For last year. Oh, uh, last year, yeah. Right. Went school. From Hay, uh, I think so. And why did you take her out of Hayfield? Uh, we got a child. Uh, Child, child rearing issue. Right. What the, you didn't you didn't like the friends that she was making or yeah, what? Yeah, she was so. The bottom line is the school system to hang out, hang hang out, program programs and any other any other thing. Uh, So when did she start going to Scott County? This year? Scott County? You said she was in South County High School? Oh, South County, she started this year. This is the first year. Okay. September 9th. So she went to Hayfield Middle School. No, so we were, we were in the school, a different school district. Okay. And so we had to we had to bring her home to you know, start school in the same place. Go to school for four years and then me. But why did you switch from Hayfield to South County? Well, the child protection agency came by knocking on our door. Why? You talking about CPS? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Why did CPS come to your door? Did your daughter raise some issues? She, she apparently talked to a uh, guidance counselor. Counselor at school? And what did she tell him? She's saying that that is been too abusive. Uh, Verbally or physically? Physically. Okay. But how, how would you discipline her? Well, I used a rod. Huh? A piece of rod to just, you know. Our legs? Yeah, it hurt. I guess it was. That was hard. Okay. You know, and yet, you know, please take care of it. You know, I regret doing that. Mm -hmm. She's 15. And she's 15 or 13? 15. She's 15. Okay. But other than that, um, did that hurt your relationship with her? Was uh, Joy uh, growing more upset and your relationship more distant because of? The rod you were using, you think? That's my problem. And, uh, uh, that, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how, whether it is deteriorated or not. I mean, do you, do you have a, a daily conversation with her, or does she just not talk to you? About what? I mean, Anything. What's, what's your normal day in, the, in, the, in your house? Well, the whole day in the house is it's not really ideal. You know, to come home and go to sleep, study, and, you know, watch TV, and go to sleep. And, And that's what Joy would do? She would come home and watch TV, eat and sleep? Yeah, there's no fun. Right. You know? um, what did she want to do? Well, she's uh, just wanting to socialize uh, with her friends. Mm -hmm. She had a boyfriend? 
Could you not allow her to have a boyfriend? Uh, we asked her. We asked her. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, she is flat out. There's no word about it, it's true or not. But, uh, so you don't, you don't know if she was obeying your wishes or not? But as far as you know, she didn't have a boyfriend? Okay. So obviously your, the relationship with your daughter is not perfect. Well, see the thing is, I don't know what you're getting at. Um, the relationship with my daughter, I love her deeply. Mm -hmm. I, oh, there's no doubt. You love her. And I, I do not believe, you know, I kill I killed her. I killed her. Right. Why, why, say, do you, why do you say, think you did that? I say I killed her. It's not a matter of confession. Because it, it's just a, you know, the devil's creation. Devil, you know, it's just. I agree with you, but yeah. sometimes the devil can use his human bodies to carry out his work. Wow. It's like a. Uh, sorry, I'm guessing, yeah. Carl, Carl, let's go to this. What, what caused you to, to, to hurt Joy? What made you do that? Uh, I mean, were you fighting with her? No, I wasn't fighting with her. Cool. Uh, once again, I, I just don't know how how, how I could have. Well, where, where was she when what happened? She was downstairs, and, you know, studying. So she was studying. Yes, she was uh, studying. And when you say downstairs, in what room? Living room or bedroom? Uh, living room. Is the, is the apartment more than one level? Yeah. Or is there a loft or what? Two level. It's a two level apartment. Okay. And what time was this about? It's about 10 o'clock. Last night? Um, tonight. Right today. Okay. 10 o'clock. Right now it's it's noon on Monday. Are you, noon, are you talking about 10 o'clock on Sunday night? Oh, uh, Today's Monday, June 14th. Yeah. Was it Saturday? That, that happened Saturday, Sunday morning. Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. That, that's the 12th of... Uh, the... Yeah, uh, no, when... Uh, it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock right now. When did when did this happen? Right. So I'm trying to say it was a Saturday on Sunday morning, uh, probably 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning? 9 30, 10 o'clock. Okay. I think it was 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock. And she was studying? Yeah, she was uh, reading and studying. Okay, and what happened? Uh, you know, the, what happened was, uh, uh, I don't know, it just snapped. What caused you to snap, though? Were you guys arguing? No, I, I wasn't arguing about anything I did, you know. Uh, she, she kept saying, you know, the little car saying, you know, uh, get to have a faster and stuff like that, you know. Uh, uh, you know what? If what? I if I go over there to look at my daughter, I would be petrified. 
Right. Well, we, we won't make you do that. We don't want to. Okay. I mean, Bobby needs to be taken out. And I, I hope uh, I hope you have a program to get just get get it. We'll, we'll take care of that. But let's let's talk about. You said she was studying, right? And were you interact? Were you talking to her? Uh, no. Uh, when I when I was upstairs. Uh, when I was working at five, I, I saw uh, there's a two opportunities. There's one last opportunity. I guess I got I got to see if I can do it. And um, I went to uh, uh, I went to uh, I went straight to, straight to this house. What, what, was, what, what was I saying? We were talking about, you said that you, were, you just snapped. Oh. And that your daughter was studying. And we were asking you, what caused you to snap? As you know, lying, lying, cheating, stealing, obviously lying, cheating, and stealing. Your daughter is? Uh, yeah, uh, obviously lying, cheating. Uh huh. I would, I would, I would, yeah, uh, sure. That you were upset about? Her. Upset. Okay. What was she stealing? Well, I don't have, I'm not a witness, but. Uh, no, in your mind, what did you think she was stealing? Well, she's probably pickpocketing. I'm not pickpocketing, but I'm not pickpocketing, you know. Taking uh, money out of your wife's purse? No, no, it uh, could be. No, this that could be. Uh, but you had a suspicion that she was lying, cheating, and stealing. No. Carl, let, let's just go back. Yesterday morning at ten o'clock, right? Sunday morning at ten o'clock. You're down there, and Joyce studying. And at some point, you you touched her, you hurt her, right? Tell us what happened there. How did you got? Why is it that you got upset with her to hurt her? I didn't get upset. Okay, you I, didn't get upset. I, I didn't get upset that day. All day, I did not get upset. I gently asked her, you know, hey, let's take a break, uh, relax, you know, drink some water. I want to lie down over here so I can uh, relax your muscle. And she laughing, laughing at me. You know, she accepted. So she flipped over and I had a little piece of blanket on top of her. As you can see at the time, you know, my thumbing. I said, oh. you know, this is, this is happening already, you know. So what happened? Where was Joey lying? Was she lying on a on a on a bed, on a on a couch, on the floor, where? Yeah, on the couch. Okay. On the, on the, on the bed. On the bed? On the bed on the floor. In the living room where she was studying? Dining room. Dining room? In the living room where she was studying. Okay. And was she laying on her back or on her stomach? Well, she was uh, doing computer. Computer work. Right. Yes. So she was sitting on the floor working on her computer? Okay. And what did you do to her? I, I let her lie down and just, uh, she went left to, left to the other and just had, just like I explained to him, covering a cover up with the uh, uh, baby blanket, attempting to immobilize her arms, you know, 
and I use a thumbnail, you know, switch it. And I told them, I'm, I'm sorry, Daddy, Daddy, not going to want you to go through this just suffering. Right. So you, you, you secured her arms? You said you said you wanted to restrain her arms. No, well, she, she's, I guess, gentle enough to try to sigh, to put on the side. Okay. Uh, there's no resistance. What, what did you use? It's a dumbbell. Dumbbell? Yeah. Did you hit her? Or how did you do it? Did you put it over her? Yeah, I put it over her neck. How big of a dumbbell? It was a five pound dumbbell, I'd say. That's big. Right. Shut out of what? And like this, as big as this? As wide as this? Yeah. I want to take the wire out. But is it thick like this? The bar? Yeah, the dumbbell was on the end, and the bar went across. Is it this thick? You want to draw a picture of it? There you go. Where is the dumbbell now? Is it still at the house? Uh, I, I, I love it. I love uh, after the crimes, you know, stuff to come. Right. I was nervous. I threw it away. Where did you throw it at? In the river. I mean, I, what river? I don't know where. Do you know where? Well, it was a dark. I, I mean, you could probably take this still. Yeah, probably. Right. I, I probably could do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we'll get past that. Is it a one-piece dumbbell? You know how some dumbbells yeah. have weights? Yeah. This one, I think. This one's a 10-pound. 10-pound? I think so. Well, write 10 pounds there, because I've written five. Oh, it's five on each? Yeah, I think, I think so. Okay. And again, describe, she's laying on her back. Describe how you, uh, where you place it and how. Something like that. That's what the dumbbell looks like. Yeah, both hands heavy, both hands heavy, center pieces too long. So, okay. And describe what you do with the dumbbell. I, I guess you press down on her. On her throat? On her throat. Do you, so she's facing you? Mm -hmm. And she's on her back, on the floor? In what room? Uh, in the dining room right next to so we use a dining room open table for storage. Okay. Then uh, this one. Okay, and so she's she's on her back. And how are you? Are you on top of her? Mm -hmm. Okay. And where did you get the dumbbell from? Well, we we had we always always had. I mean, was it nearby? Yeah, the dumbbell was laying around. So you had picked it up. Before you went over to her? No, it's, it's not all in the ocean ditch. Okay, so you're on top of her and you reach over? Mm -hmm. Is that, I don't want to put words in your mouth. Is that what you did? Yeah. It's, uh, and then you, what did you do next? Did you put it over her throat? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, I don't, whatever I did, I tried to, Try to pass it, pass, pass away. You trying to, you did or she? I just pressed down on her. Okay. Over her throat, cutting off her airway. So you, you were strangling her. I mean. Yeah, I, I would say that. Is that correct? You're using a dumbbell and you push down on the dumbbell? 
Okay. While you were pushing down on Dumbo, what was she doing? Uh, she she was struggling. Struggling? Uh huh. Was she saying anything? No. I would, I it's a dumb, stupid enough for me to say this, but I'm glad uh, they didn't say anything. All right. That made it easier for you. Yeah. They they say something. I could have been. So if if she's laying right here, you're on top of her. Are you sitting on her or just straddling her? I'm sitting on her. Okay. So your bottom is sit on her stomach, and then you're leaning forward, pushing down on the dumbbell. Is that right? Okay. And what was your intention? I mean, did you, were you just trying to hurt her, or did you? Oh, no, I wanted to. <sighs> just, just like I can, uh, just like I told you, you know, my family. I just wanted to end it. Did you want to kill her? I wanted to kill her, but I, it sounds like it's stupid, but I don't stand how, you know, the God believing Mm -hmm. Christian, and how could I kill her? So, but but these uh, medications have the thoughts going going just in my mind, saying get rid of this, get rid of this, you know. But then, then then I'm super sleep deprived. Just all day, all night long. Not a not a wink. Are these medications you're talking about? You've been taking them for a while, right? How long have you been taking those medications? Since April. Since April? Right. Okay. Since and you April. say you've had thoughts of wanting to kill Joy, right? How many times have you tried to kill her before last yesterday morning? This first time. This is the first time? Okay. Why? Right. Why is it this is the first time? Because you weren't having thoughts like that? Yeah, um, somehow the thoughts about the thought was about me. Um, How many times have you tried to hurt yourself since you've taken this medication? I, you know, I in the car I carry the rope around. Uh, But have you tried to hang yourself? Yeah, I got a rope around and I've been, I've been driving around. To pass I, I understand you have a rope there, but in order to hurt yourself, you need to, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whereas, have you tried to hurt yourself before you hurt Joy? As far as trying to, to hurt myself, yes. But as far as executing, I couldn't do it because I didn't want to leave uh, my family alone. And uh, well, where was Hannah when you did this to Joy? Yeah, see, Hannah had a long ride uh, Friday night. As a matter of fact, working on my um, resume. Yeah, see, this is very, very unusual, unusual. Um, it's, it's okay. So, uh, it's a very unusual situation. Well, was Hannah, was Hannah alive when you... When she, was, she was sleeping upstairs. She was sleeping upstairs? She was sleeping upstairs and... Uh, At 10 o'clock in the morning? She was the night before. It's not not that bad, but two night before. Mm -hmm. uh, she was sitting on the computer trying to, trying to help, us, help me out, you know, help me on the other side. Okay. And also uh, looking for a place to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, like, Uh, 
find them, finding a place to, to stay is not easy. Was she gonna, was she moving out? Yeah, we all are gonna move out. Oh, you all were looking for a new place to live? Right. Okay. That was a temporary, you know, temporary housing. Mm -hmm. So was Hannah asleep while you were on top of Joy? Yeah, so probably she didn't wake up because it wouldn't make any noise. Uh -huh. Hannah didn't make any noise? I mean, I'm sorry, Joy didn't make any noise? No. Did you make any noise? It was a whispering noise. What did you say to her? Well, I said, please, I'm sending you, you know, to Jesus, you know, sorry, I'm not a daddy, it's not bad. But this, this, you know, uh, And I don't know, I know that people have learned this, but you know. So what did you do after, how did you know Joy died? How did you know when to stop applying the pressure? Since I'm since I'm really an amateur on this thing, I've never done this before. I, I only thing I really is I was petrified when, when motion. When I was in motion, um, she's dead. She's dead, right? You tell us we haven't been there. We came to the hospital. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know whether she's dead or not. Yeah, I, I listen to the heartbeat. Heartbeat? Heartbeat like that? So you put your ear down to her heart? Yeah, I, I put my ear down to the heart and check the pulse. Okay, so you checked her pulse. And what did you find? Nothing. Okay, so you felt that she was dead? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. How, how long were you pressing down on her neck, her throat? On, on the joints? Yeah. How long did it take? She, I wasn't timing it, but uh, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. Uh, give up on breathing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was doing. This is this is flesh bag. It's killing me. No, yes. I'm just. Uh, you'll be okay. Uh, just. Uh, You'll be okay. And did it happen quicker than you thought or it took longer than you thought? It took longer than I thought. Okay. And she was struggling a little bit? Surprisingly, she struggled. She didn't struggle. Uh, she, she didn't struggle. Both of them couldn't struggle anyway. Uh, so how, how much long, how much time went between when you killed Joy from when you killed H um, Hannah? You know, in the middle of it, I said, I kept telling on myself, how could, how, could I, how, how could I do this? You know, why, why, why? And my heart is pounding like a crazy. Uh, and, uh, mm. then, then it's done, you know. After you felt the joy had no heartbeat, did you get up and go to, immediately to your to your wife? Yeah, rather right rather right joy. I mean, this stress and anxiety got over me again. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do it now, uh, later. Right. I don't know. It's, uh, I was there with a big dumbbell, and I said, "I'm looking at it sleeping." Oh man! I, where was she? Where was Hannah? 
Hannah is lying down on the bed in the home corner. Right. They're temporary, so we're going to have a bed. Are they beds or just on the floor? Mats on the floor. Mats on the floor until we get we get a sure. house built to, to move into. Is she laying on her back or her stomach? Well, sometimes she likes to sleep on the stomach. And, and when you went in there, what was she on her stomach or her She was on the stomach. On her stomach? So what did you do? Uh, is this part of a report, sir? Do I need to go into her room again? Not with Joy. We're talking about Hannah. What happened? Hey, yeah, but you haven't talked about Hannah yet. Well, I don't know. But, you know, all these... Well, it's important to us to explain because they're going the medical examiner does an investigation. They're gonna ask us certain questions. We weren't there, you were. So you know, we're trying to find out exactly you know, did you do the same thing or did you do something different? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know it's tough. I know it is, but once we talk about it, it it'll be easier. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, what, what are your what are your what are your role? Detective. Correct. And your detective. Same right. right. But Lieutenant Colonel, let me let me explain something to you. As you know, you already you've already talked about killing your daughter. Okay. It doesn't get any worse. You've overcome the worst part of this. Okay, by talking about how you killed your wife, it's not making your situation any worse. Okay, it can't get worse than it is right now. Okay, you've, you've talked about killing your daughter, you explained how you put a dumbbell on her, on her throat and you pushed down until the life was out of her, and then you checked her heart and she didn't have a heartbeat. Okay, so you killed your daughter. Whether you killed your wife or not, it doesn't make anything worse. You understand? So if you're concerned about, you're talking to two detectives about killing your wife, you've already admitted to killing your daughter. So logically, it, it doesn't get worse for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right, right. I'm not, I, you know, I'm, I'm making a confession. But yeah, both body, both dead bodies are my, my, my responsibility. But, uh, it's, for, as a, you know, can with a reasonable uh, thought process, um, I cannot believe, I cannot believe I, could, I would do something like this. You know, right. it's just constantly being in my bed while I'm driving, you know. You know. Well, this is, not, this is not you. The person who did this is not the normal, everyday Lieutenant Colonel Yee. You know, obviously, some things that are going on in your life made you snap and made you decide that you were going to kill your family. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to understand. But part of understanding that is understanding how you actually killed your wife. Did you use a dumbbell with her also? Yeah. Okay. Where did you I get the restaurant room? Um, we don't work here. Let me find out where that is. But do you have a question first? Well, let's first, yeah, can we finish up talking about Hannah? That way then you need to go to the bathroom. Do you need to go real bad? I was going to hold it. Okay. All right there. Oh, okay. well, actually, no, it's right there. Oh, yeah, there's a big sign that says toilet. We're, there you go. We're here to You'll be okay? Yeah, you're fine. I'm gonna leave the door open, okay? Thank you. 
Don't worry about it. It doesn't work. This is all recorded, right? So. Yes, sir. Um, so I want to make sure I'm answer. Trying to stay away. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Um, I'm, uh, Let, let's talk about Hannah real quick. I know it's tough, but let's talk about Hannah, and then we can move on to other things. Okay. okay. How, how do you how do you envision uh, what's happening today? Today, sir. Well, we're not we're not sure. Um, you know, obviously some things we've got to, people we've got to talk to in light of things that you said. Um, but let's let's get through this, and I'll make sure we, I explain to you everything fully as, as things go. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I just want to keep up front right now. I was on the medication. Uh, we understand that. Yeah. And, and you know what? After we talk about Anna, we're going to talk about your medication and stuff. Right. So, okay. so I mean, uh, it's, you know, devil that was spraying my eyes. I mean, in years. And, uh, Colonel, I had the devil whisper me all the time. Yeah, all the time. It's just, it's, I mean, ask him, he knows that. So, but I know we've yeah. talked about joy, but now we need to talk about Hannah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us what happened with Hannah. Yeah, okay, uh, after finishing, finishing up with uh, Joy, is this something when the Miranda right comes in? Yeah, we went over your Miranda right before, yeah. remember? He signed the Miranda form? Mm -hmm. So let me ask this. Why, why is it you don't want to talk about Hannah, but you'll talk about Joy? No, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Okay. I want, I'm wondering if... Uh, if well, I mean, we're just... It just shocked me a little bit that each time... No, it's okay. It's okay. Fine. So what happened to Hannah? Well, the bottom line is she's, she's uh, dead. Uh, I, I simply do not know what came over me. And, you know, I don't, I don't know what to do, do, you know. So, so do I, with the joy. You know, I don't know what it is. It's uh, 12, you know, past two and a half hours, I mean, 20, almost three months. I'm just sleep deprived. I, I explained to my boss. Uh, you know, I'm I'm sick, very sick. And I just, I just don't need to talk to the doctor. This doctor has not called me up. But anyway, you know, I know it's hard to talk about, but we need to we need to go through the details like we did with Joy. We need to go through the details with him about Hannah, how he killed Hannah. How long have you been married to Hannah? Uh, well, since 20, 19, 1926, 1986. 
Okay. So 24 years. And, and not, not that you did not love joy, but obviously you care very greatly about your wife. And you're having a harder time dealing with her loss. But it's important for you and also for us to find out how exactly you did kill her. Yeah, there's no motive, motive any motive or anything like that. There's no motive for my daughter, my daughter, my daughter or my, my wife. Right. I just wanted to don't suffer, so do not suffer any, any more than uh, what, what were they suffering for? Number one, the place is congested, you know. Uh, things put everywhere, every which way. Are they congested because you guys are in a smaller living quarters opposed to what you're used to? Yeah, it's, a, it's a small room, you know, tiny, tiny dining room and small room. And, uh, yeah, it is a messy, but anyway, uh, so Lieutenant Colonel, you after you killed Joy. You, you walked into the uh, bedroom where um, your wife was sleeping, and she was laying on the mat? She was sleeping like this. Okay. Uh, she had her head on her hands? Head on the side. On the side, okay. On the side. And uh, and uh, since Joey, Joey's uh, trying to enjoy it, uh, I, I even said this, but I told my choice. And when, when, when she looks at me like this, putting in her eyes, I said, I'm sending you to the Jesus. I'm sending you to Jesus. Snap, you know. Uh, then, you know, I'm not a, I've never, never experienced this before and that was it then you went back to um, my wife issue uh, that would, that as soon as I, I didn't hesitate the moment when I had to go back up, upstairs uh, what, nine or nine o'clock, I don't know, nine thirty, nine fifteen. And I went upstairs to the dumbbell and she, 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 she sleeping so well. But I, I looked at her, I looked at her a little bit. And I was really angry and Did she wake up? Oh yeah, this is tough. I don't want to kill me. This is it's pretty crazy. And what did you do? It's obvious you're very remorseful. You know, you're you're not some thug on the street killing people for no reason. You obviously you're sorry for what you did, you're sorry for the choices you made. And that's very important. It's important that you show yourself as someone who cares. 
And obviously you made the worst choice that you could possibly make. Yeah. So we're not discounting your feelings and we understand that this is very hard for you to deal with. But part of dealing with that is being able to verbalize what you actually did. Is the problem that you're having that your wife woke up and was talking to you? No, when I, when I came up, I wanted to quiet, quiet with, with happy and I'm a happy joy. Mm -hmm. I came up and she was sleeping uh, peacefully and uh, flipping over, uh, she's sleeping on top of the stomach and flipping over her to uh, strangle her. Did you flip her over or did she flip over on her own? I, I hit her. I hit her with a barbell. With the barbell or the dumbbell? I'm sorry. The dumbbell. dumbbell. Okay. The same one that you used on Joy? No, it's a pill. It's a big one. It's a bigger one. Okay. Where did you get that from? Uh, with the head of like, you know, exercise. No, where was it? Was it in the room where she was sleeping? Or did you bring it into the room? No, I was downstairs. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it's just, this area is congested, you know. All right. I was sitting down, sitting down. Was it near where Joy was? Yeah, it wasn't near Joy. Joy was, whatever. We got, I don't know if you go down there. It's a mess, you know. So where did you hit Hannah? You know, at that moment when I came up, I'm in pain. I think she was sleeping like this, like that. Uh -huh. Then I went, I went, I went straight into a boom, somewhere running. I don't, so I'm you not, hit her like in the back of the head. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly where where in the back of the head. Right. But you have your hand on the back of your head, so you're you're saying that you hit her somewhere on the back of the head. You're not sure which side. Yeah, I mean I hit her. Okay. okay. I hit her exact location. I'm not sure because I, right. was, I understand. I was I was insane that time. You know, right. I kept saying you know, joy and uh, my wife. My and wife. How else did you hit her? I, I was, uh, Joy didn't, since Joy didn't struggle, I didn't have to, I didn't have any problem. But uh, Hannah, I thought she was going to, uh, the gist, and uh, Uh, is that why you hit her first? Because you thought she was going to give you a more difficult time than Joy? Yeah. Okay. That's why. That's why. Okay. So after you hit her, did she uh, die immediately or did you do something else? No, she she, she didn't die immediately. immediately. Okay. In my mind. I'm, I'm, I, I, yeah. Right. Well, you were there. So, I mean, you had to tell us what happened. All right. So after you hit her in the head, what happened next? And I, then, then I, then I used, uh, I don't know what I I, I don't remember which one I used. Okay, I, which barbell I used. Uh, anyway, the, the big thing is I freaking hit her. You hit her? Yeah. 
I mean, that's not necessary. It's, you know, How many times do you think you hit her? I think I hit her uh, three times. In the all three in the head? I'm not sure what it is. I just don't know why I did this. <laughs> What was your was your intention after Joy and Hannah were killed? Were you gonna kill yourself? Yeah, that, that was all my intention. Right, I mean that's the plan. Was you were gonna kill those two and you were gonna kill yourself? <laughs> I just don't know why this thing is happening, but you know. This anxiety and uh, anxiety disorder and uh, medication, medications that not the, uh, I'm getting from here. Uh, Let me just get straight because I want to move on from Hannah and talk about your other issues, but I want to clear up some things about Hannah. Okay, so we have to go through the rough stuff first, and then we'll talk about the good stuff. But basically, with Hannah, you hit her through. Did you strangle her? Yeah. So after hitting her three times. Yeah, I didn't want her to uh, wake up. Okay, did she wake up at any of those three times? No, she didn't say a word. Okay, was she fit? How did you strangle her? That's why. <laughs> And at least freaking. Did you use your hands, or did you use a barbell? I used I used a barbell. I think. You did the same thing as you did with Joy. Yeah. Was she on her back or on her stomach? Yeah, she's on the back. So, how'd she get flipped around? No, uh, when I when I hit once, she 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 went like this, and I just pushed her. Okay, so she kind of flipped. Yeah, I mean, she, I guess it, it was a human instinct. Hit her and she just walked like this. Was, you know, something of nature, or, you know. Was there any, okay, and then you hit her three, two more times quickly or? Not quickly, but and as I was, this thing so happened, I, I wasn't thinking straight. I know, I'm not sure that I'm fast. Then only thing I remember is flipping her since she she was like this and she said like that. Then I just pushed it aside, you know. And then what'd you do? Because I hit her once, then 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 obviously it was unconscious, you know. She was lying down. Mm -hmm. And I'm explaining her sorry, 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 Joe. I mean, sorry, basically, you know, what I said was bad. Was, were you saying this out loud or were you saying it to yourself? Well, I said, baby, let's all go together. Okay. You know, let's all go together. Do you say that English or Korean? English. Okay. Did she say sorry. anything to you? No, sir. Now, when you're, how are you positioned when you're strangling her? I was being on, I was being on her stomach area. Okay. And I'm not sure if I was up here, or over here. Describe what you did with the barbell. Uh, as I've done this, this, this act of crime, act, you know, this. It's literally killing my own family. I don't know what to do. No, I'm saying describe what you went with Hannah, how you strangle her with the barbell. Same thing like with Joy. I had to put it on my neck. And you just pressed down? Mm -hmm. How did you know, same way with Joy, how did you know she had passed away? Same thing, I would, I would listen to her, the heartbeat. And did you take her pulse or not? Uh, I'm not sure if I took uh, Hannah's pulse, but I put my hand down and I waited uh, on, on this area. Uh, 
there was a fuss going on like that. On her neck? Yeah. Then I, I looked at him and they... Then, uh, then he stopped and I stopped and I was panicked. It was gone. Then I went, went to a body one more time. Nothing. I had downstairs with Joey. No. Did you do anything with Joy or Hannah? Did you hot, did you cover up their bodies or? Uh, the Hannah, Hannah is left alone the way it is. And she's in the bedroom on a mat. Yeah, so 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 really disarray. We were trying to build a house and it didn't it didn't get work it didn't work out. So we're temporarily all jammed. But she's in a bedroom on a mat. Yes. Okay, do you remember what Hannah was wearing? She's wearing a white gown, white one one piece, this is, I guess just the so Okay. A white gown? Mm -hmm. No, the pinky pinky gown. Oh pink. Pink. Okay. I'm not I'm not a I'm not a color blind. Okay. But it seems like a like a light color? Yeah, light light uh, but it's a gown. What was Joy wearing? Joy is what? Joy wearing a black gown. Sports pant. Sports uh, black exercise pant. Mm -hmm. And what top? Uh, top was. Uh, T-shirt's like, you know, it's not, it's not a designer T-shirt. Red, I think it's... Red T-shirt. I think color is... Uh, okay. And you didn't do anything with Hannah. What did you do with Joy? I'm so sorry. What did, did you, did you cover Joy off or what did you do with her? I, I only cover her face. You cover her face? I only cover her face and uh what did you cover her face with? Uh tissue. Tissue? Tissue. Tissue. Or t shirt? Yeah. What we'll call it t shirt? Oh, okay. And this was on uh, Sunday morning that you covered them up? Sunday morning when everything was happening. Okay. Uh, so after everything was complete, where did you go? I took... Were your clothes all bloody? What I wore uh -huh. is what I got. And what you wore at the, during this incident uh -huh. is what the same clothes you had at the hospital? Yeah, the same. same. Okay. I'm mean, just in the top shirt. Top shirt. I got to change the top shirt. I know I didn't change. The pants are the same? Pants are the same. And what I would... Um, crap. Do you know that you got, got close? So we can show them to you. Yeah, don't worry. We'll show oh, you. That's no problem. Uh, uh, where, did, where did you... When did you leave at the house? I left house. I cannot. I, you know what? On I, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. After after um, your wife and daughter are dead, did you leave the house or stay there? I stayed there. Uh, I don't know how much I stayed. Okay. I, was, I couldn't stay there because I was going. I was I was going crazy. Right. I was shaking, petrified, and uh -huh. and I was I couldn't write anything. Uh, I couldn't write anything. So where'd you go? So uh, I went to uh, I drove I drove about five hundred hours from the moment or the moment I left home. Um, I bought the I bought, I bought 
you know, it's in the car. You know, not, they're not throwing it in. The rope? Yeah. Okay. The yes. The yellow rope? Yeah, what, what, what plug is it, sir? This is CID. This is, we're at Fort Belmore. Oh, this is for Belmore? Yeah, we're so, it's, we're just down the street from the hospital. Oh, what did you get me? Huh? What did you get me from? The hospital. You walked into the hospital. Here, real quick, before I forget, because I have short attention span, what type of car were you driving? Uh, SUV. I know that's, uh, what color? What, white. White? Yes, sir. SUV? At white. Uh, it's a crossover SUV. What's a crossover? So uh, I'm uh, sedan and uh, what type of hatchback? What type of car is it? It's a, it's a hatchback. Okay, what is it? Pontiac, GM, Hyundai, 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 Hyundai. Where was it parked? Do you remember where we parked it? Was there anybody else inside the vehicle? When I was in the parking lot, uh, I had a puppy in there. You had your dogs in there? Yeah. Okay. Then I drove. I drove. Okay. Let us get you some water. We're going to take a break real quick. Okay? And then we'll come back and we'll talk about the good things. Okay, dude. I'm trying to ask. Don't worry about it. Let me get you some water. You want water? You've been sitting here thinking. Do you have any questions for us? Uh, I know you have a lot going on in your mind. Yeah, after you left the house yesterday, did you see anybody? Did you talk to anybody? Uh, I, I drove around fresh, um, you know, down, down the south, drove around the north uh, Prince William Parkway area. Old houses, mm -hmm. empty houses. Where, where did you throw the Where did you throw the um, dumbbell away? You said you, earlier. You said you threw it in the aquifer. Yeah, I, I, you know, it was obvious that uh, I was going to, you know, you're all going to be come, you know, find me easily. But I was pacified with I didn't want to see it laying around to, you know, so I, I took it down to uh, like the restaurant pier area. Um, that's wrong. Over in the Occoquan? Yeah, right. And in the little town of Occoquan? The little town of Occoquan. Okay. The little pier area. All right. Can you show us that, where it is? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Be before Sunday morning, is there, other than family members, or was there anybody that you talked to? Is there, do you have other family in the area? Anybody who knows you? Any, any family member? Uh -huh. Do you have any other family in the area other than uh, your wife and daughter? I think I talked to him. Maybe I, I talked to him about my mommy. Mommy was concerned about my uh, my emotional state and anxiety state. Who was my mother? Your mother. Where did she live? My mother lived in uh, Ohio. Oh, okay. And uh, she keeps on keeps on calling calling me. I think I did talk to her. Uh, What's your mom's name? Susan. Susan uh, E. Uh, her name. This young. This young. She's going to make her bed. 
So she lives in Ohio. Do you have a phone number for her? Um, yeah, I do, but um, could, could you call somebody else? Yeah, I, I guess real quick. Um, because she, she find out about what she already called them. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Or does Hannah have any brothers or sisters or parents? Uh, Hannah, Hannah's friends, uh, relatives are all in Korea. Who can we call? Do we know how to get a hold of her relatives in Korea? Um, Do you have a phone number for her mom or dad? Uh, her dad just passed away. I can get you a... I wouldn't speak English, but I can get you a telephone number for my wallet. For her mom? For my wallet or her handphone. It's in, it's in my pocket. Okay, we can get it out later. Right. So her, Hannah's parents live in Korea? Yeah, Hannah's parents live in Korea. Okay. Does she have any family that's on stateside? No. So we, we were looking forward to building this new house. Uh, it just mutually. Uh, Does she have any yeah. friends here, Hannah? Yeah. Any really close friends? Yeah. No, uh, she occasionally hang out friends. We need to open Do you have any other children besides Joy? No, sir. So Joy's your only child? No. It's what, 115? Oh, I thought it was every morning. I wanted to ask him. Let, let's go, uh, who can we contact? Do you know Hannah's friends? Yeah, I, see, I don't have a... Oh, you need your phone? Yeah, I need a phone. Okay. Uh, what about your mom's phone number? What's that? We're not necessarily going to call her, you know. Uh, four three, I know, so seven oh three. Seven oh three. I thought she lived in Ohio. Yeah, I gave her extension of my my. So okay, seven oh three. Three one three. Three one three. Zero one zero one. She's a she's a young lady, young, I mean, very. Where does she live in Ohio? Columbus or where? Columbus, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, okay. Uh, so is this a cell phone number for her? Yeah. 703-313-0101? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, you have a brothers or sisters that live here? Yeah, I have a brother that in Ashburn, Ashburn, Virginia. What's his number? What's his name? Charlie. Charlie Yee. And the, the number is also in, in my hand, handphone. He lives in Ashburn? That's fine. I don't have a wallet with me. Okay, we can get it for you. We'll, we'll find out the number. Do you have How old is Charlie? Charlie is uh, 40, 12, 42 minus 46, 46. 46, okay. Do you have any other family in the area? I have well one in Korea. Uh, uh, would it, would it be better for for Charlie to call your mom? Think that'd be easier? Yeah. My, my, I beg you. Well, we don't want to tell you. I, I understand uh, what you're saying. Your mom's probably older. And uh, we'll, we'll have Charlie. We'll have, I'll talk to Charlie and I'll have Charlie do it. My mother is going to drop. Uh, she's from, she, she's the manager of the from, uh, you know, a couple of times and tell, tell me more about the doctor you had mentioned earlier. Yeah, There's a doctor I've that you haven't met you get medication for him. Have you been suffering from anxiety for a little while or not? Oh, it's been going on. For how many years? Two thousand two thousand four. So what what was your diagnosis? GD, uh, general uh, 
General anxiety disorder. AD, oh, AD, oh. Yeah, anxiety disorder, depression, loneliness. And that's, you were, you've been having these problems since 2004? Not, not all of them. Uh, this thing's been popping up. Uh, okay. Who, just, who's your doctor? Stress. Right now, you know, Army, when I was uh, active, Active duty. Um, we used to have signed doctor, you know. But top four elbow over here that being crowded, over over yeah. crowded. But we have a miss, uh, miss Huspat, Huspat, Huspat. Yeah, Huspat miss. Is that a girl? Yeah, yeah. she's a miss. How do you uh, spell her name? Hus, H U S. H U S H U S. Huh? Hospat. P A H T H. P A T H. P -A -T -H. Where does she work out of the hospital? P A T H. Out of D W A T. P A T H. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Is she working behavioral sciences or where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when's the last time that you saw her? As a PD. I saw her last Friday. So last Friday? And why did why did you go see her last Friday? Oh I, I told her I'm still it's not sleeping well. Mm -hmm. uh, she referred me to a switch don't you? Um, I, I already have a, a sleep study. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with a CPAP, CPAP uh, machine. Sleep apnea? Yes, sir. You put that staff, uh, staff mask on, still spotting. Right. So, so we're going to go over there and get it tested and adjusted. Uh, and then. then <clears throat> Well, if, if you've been progressively getting worse since 2004, when's the first time that you had these suicidal thoughts about hurting yourself? Um, this, is, this thing's been going on. See, there's a, a medication uh, remnant, uh, leftovers from uh, last time I was seeing the panga. And he asked me to just continue to take it until he wouldn't hurt. I took it. I've been taking it. And the uh, sleeping pill was prescribed to me. You know, sleeping pill. Because the thing is, I'm not getting any sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, as a family, I got to provide, provide for me and my family. And I explained to my boss like this, you know, one, I had to bring, in, bring, my, bring my immediate boss and the reporting higher. I'm running, I guess. You know, I mean, I, I said that to, to both of them. So you, you know, they, they shouldn't be contradicting each other. And I had a one-on-one -on -one session with my boss. I'm really, really sick. I'm really, really sick. Who, um, who's your boss? Um, Pamela Prince. Pamela, Pamela Prince. Pamela? Per, Pam, we go by Pam. Pamela. Pamela. Prince? Mm -hmm. Does she work at the Pentagon? Yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. She, she doesn't work at the Pentagon. She works at uh, Crystal City National Guard. That's on guard bureau. Okay. You have a photo before? Yes, I do have, but it's in my, it's in my wallet. Um, and a uh, handful, a little bit, a little bit better in there than I had enough. Who's the other boss that you told this to? Colonel, Colonel Lingenfelter. Lingenfelter? L-I-N, L-I-G-N, E-N-G. 
thousand Right. What? Uh, where does he work? Uh, he's a deputy. Deputy J six. Well, where does he actually work? In the Pentagon yeah, or Crystal City? Same place. When did you tell them this? I told them. I don't, I don't know the exact date. Wait, roughly. Uh, two weeks ago. Two or three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, okay. At that time, were you thinking about killing your family? What was, what was significant about Sunday? Why did you decide to do it Sunday as opposed to last week, two years ago? You know, why, why this Sunday? That's a, that's a good question. You know, the thing is Sunday, you know. What made you finally snap? I was finally slammed. It was a, it was a miserable, miserable for my daughter, you know, to see your daughter, my daughter stand studying without without having a proper desk, no bookcase, mm -hmm. and not not a good laptop that equates to her friends, and uh, not enough clothes. Mm -hmm. And she got Red Cross volunteer coming over. She requires dresses, and she doesn't have. We, we were going to get them, but uh, it's coming weekend. Mm. So you felt pressure because you weren't providing for her needs. Yes, and uh, if this thing continues on with my health the way it is, mm -hmm. I'm deteriorating. I'm, I'm hurting. I cannot believe that I'm, I'm doing this. No, I'm going to I just, it's terrible moments for everybody. You know? Right. So once people get it out. You know? But as you're walking around the, the dining room on Sunday morning, you see her on the floor and she's doing her computer work. You felt bad because you're not providing for her the needs that she has? Is that what you, yeah. you said that made you finally realize that you needed to take care of things? I also explained on the why, the why question. Um, why question was I, was I was very afraid. And Monday, Monday is very afraid today, like today. You know, there's a, you know, I'm supposed to be in Darwin, Virginia, for the Chairman Seaweed Con Conference. Uh, And uh, what was that? Yeah, I'm sorry. God. Yeah, you were talking about how that that your daughter didn't have enough clothes. Her laptop wasn't adequate. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Our living sport at foot area in the condo is tiny, like a twelve hundred square foot. So we got. Though Joy doesn't have a study, my daughter doesn't have a study room. So uh, we got one folding chair, picnic table, or I'm sure opened it up. Whole pile of junk on there, and she's, she's using that. And uh, facing right across on it, it's got TV. And my wife, she likes to watch it after work. She comes home, but she puts her headphone on, it's cumbersome. Then, oh, man. So when you saw her without these things and you said you felt like you weren't providing for her. I need to make our, you know, as a father, I got to be able to sustain my steady income and right. stuff like that. And, uh, so did you feel inadequate? 
yeah, inadequate uh, in, the, in the short period, short, you know, in a short run. Right. Because right now it may, it may, be, it may be okay. Uh, so did you feel inadequate because of of you're not providing for your family, or are you saying that you feel inadequate because of the um, illness that you have? Because of my illness, I don't think we're going to, we're going to be able to sustain ourselves. Mm -hmm. But isn't that a choice that you should have let them make? I mean, basically, you took it on yourself. You decided for everybody. I'm killing everybody. Right? You decided for them. Uh, uh. And, and, and the point I brought up earlier, why Sunday? You said you've been suffering from this illness since 2004. It's progressively getting worse in your words. So what was so terrible about Sunday? You see your daughter, she's doing her schoolwork like you want her to, you want her to study. So what made you look at her and think, I'm inadequate, I'm not providing for my family, so I'm gonna kill them all. Why Sunday? Why didn't you think that Saturday or Friday? That's a, that's a, that's a good question. Oh, well, answer it. I, I don't understand. I, I, I don't know why I picked that Sunday. I mean, had you thought about this uh, for for six months, a year, or just that instant you thought of it? Well, that that suicidal thought, man, that uh, you know, hurting, uh, go through, went through went through my mind, and uh, the medication I'm taking, you know, it's not giving me any sleep, and I get, I go to bed at two, and I get up at two thirty or one o'clock, two thirty, then. Uh, then I'm, I'm awake, and five thirty comes around. At five o'clock comes around. I, I go to work. I come back. Six twenty. My wife's home after after work. She's doing the cooking. This kitchen is congested area as well as the dining room area. We don't need at the dining room because we're using folding chair for study, and. In the kitchen, we had a long round trip, round table in there, and it's full of, you know, three, three chairs, and we put stuff down and and we consume. And anytime I see my wife after work, you know, I'm, I only drive. Short distance from uh, from my house to Metro, and I Metro, and at least I can take a snooze. Then, but from my wife, and she was she was the Chronicle, driving forty miles, forty four forty miles, you know. Uh, and English, English is her, lang her language. Mm -hmm. So she's struggling with it at work, you know. But she's, she, but, but, but she made 12, and she's happy with it. She's and, a GS 12? Yeah, she's GS 12. And... Well, it, it sounds like, I mean, you, you're a retired lieutenant colonel, correct? What, what year did you retire? Last year. Last year? So you get a very good retirement check, correct? See, uh, that's what, uh, that's what my wife, you know, yesterday was explaining, explaining to us. What time yesterday? Uh, well, it was, uh, could be better. She constantly reminds me on the on the way home. Uh, in the car. Um, 
She reminds you about what? Hanging there because we got steady income. Um, and She's I'm, trying to cheer you up. Yeah, definitely. Both, both my wife and Joy have been trying to cheer, cheer me up. Let me ask you this. Do you know right from wrong? Simple question. Yeah. I, yeah, sim simple question. Yes. It, it, it's not nothing you can dwell on. Do you know right from wrong? Uh, it depends on the what circumstances it is. Any circumstance, right from wrong. Are you talking about this this particular case? Absolutely. What you did was it right or wrong? This is it wrong, sir. It's wrong. You understand that, correct? Am I? I can't answer for you. Yes or no? Do you understand what you did was wrong? Yeah, it is. It is wrong. Uh, it's terribly, terribly wrong. And you understand that. Correct. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't have come and told someone. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but you understand. It's not something right to do. Right. What you're doing, you know, work and providing for your family, that's right. I mean, clearly, you feel that you're suffering from some type of depression issues and stuff like that. Correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I don't know how many million, a lot of people suffer from depression. You're not the first one, you're not the only one, okay? People get treated with medications all the time, okay? Not necessarily do people, because they're suffering depression, kill their family, okay? I'm not necessarily convinced that you killed your family and were planning to kill yourself. Just for the mere reason you weren't successful. I know. I mean, and there's I, nothing wrong with that. It, it's something yeah, that you live this with. A, this is ridiculous because I'm, you know. Do you, do I, you own I, any guns? I, I, I thought about getting a gun today. But do you own any? No, sir. Okay. And, and by committing, so that doesn't solve your problem either. Even even in this case, okay, it, it's not. It doesn't solve. I mean, what happened yesterday morning is there's nothing you can do about it. It's happened, and now we have to move on from there, okay. And and clearly, you have some mental health issues. I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose it. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, you do know right from wrong. Clearly, you know this is wrong. How many times have you checked yourself into a psychiatric hospital? I'm not that kind of hospital. Why not? I was in, uh, I, you know, self admitted to it? Yes, absolutely. You need help. So, how many times since 2004 have you done that? I've, I've seen a psych psychiatrist. I understand that, but it seems to me you're having trouble sleeping. You're taking, you're depressed. You think of killing yourself. Why haven't you gone to a hospital, Walter Reed somewhere, and went in for basically a checkup? Only, only issues I, I may get, I may give you. Um, the tri care system that I mean is running. Mm -hmm. I attempted, attempt, attempted to get a referral. Mm -hmm. I finally got a psychologist, and I, I wanted to talk to him, and I said, "Emergency, I made an emergency call." And I'm, I'm not getting it. 
When did you do that? Well, I just did that, you know, to explain. I left a message saying I'm, I'm headed to the yard room. But that was after you did what you did, correct? Right. Okay. Um, and, and that's good. I mean, this is a, this 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 thing here, sir, is uh, disorganized. I I I I have lack of focus. Uh, you don't. Have, let me ask you this: You don't necessarily have fully lack of focus, and clearly, you know what you did was wrong. Because why did you throw away the dumbbells? What? Well, I was afraid. Afraid of what? This is a poor judgment. Poor judgment. I, I agree there. But what were you afraid of? It's a poor judgment. Because poor judgment of, you know, at some time, you know, I, you know, it's, uh, you're pacing yourself, what, not, you know, thinking what to do. It's a bad, bad choice, you know. Uh, I could have read, read if I, if I, if I were to take off, you know, I didn't bring any body lines out of the out of the, out of the, out of the apartment. No, but what am I, why did you throw away the dumbbells? And how many did you throw away? One or two? It's two pieces. Two two separate dumbbells. Yeah. And okay, so I mean, you threw those away, but why? Because you knew what you had done was wrong. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you're right. Put words in your no, mind. I know. It's so, you know. Yeah, and then you consciously thought, I had to get rid of these dumbbells because this is what I use. This is the mechanism I use to hurt my wife and child. Am I right or wrong? I, I know, that's why I, that's, that's why I had to come. Colonel, I'm not, I, you have to, you know, tell me. I, I'm basing my knowledge on many years of doing this job and talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people that have been in the same shoes you're in. Okay. But before calling that doctor, after the killings occurred, had you tried to get yourself checked into a hospital to recharge your batteries? Because you obviously you felt that you were sick. You told your bosses, I'm sick. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? I've been I've been trying I've been trying to get hold of uh Psychiatrist and uh, what's the purpose of getting hold of the psychiatrist? I, you know, is it because you wanted to kill your wife and daughter, or is it because you want to hurt yourself? No, I was asked to talk to a uh, psychiatrist for uh, some medications that I need to get refilled. But you, you're currently taking medications, right? Yeah, it's a certain from uh, last time when I was seeing okay. the psychiatrist. Okay. Um, but do you understand what I'm getting at? With you, you, you got rid of the dumbbells and stuff like that. Because you know what you did was, what do you, you know whether it's right or wrong, correct? And what was it, what is it in your mind, what you did? What I've done, you know, uh, It's just simply, it's not, I can't believe it. It's can me, myself, carrying this, carrying this process through uh, all day, Sunday, yes, no, Sunday, Sunday morning. It's just. <sighs> Let me get back to the question. You know, what you, 
in your mind what you did to your wife and daughter. What is it? Is it right or wrong? It's wrong. It's wrong to take take away. Okay, what do you think should happen to you? I probably need to pay that pay back on my wife's uh, my wife's uh, You need to pay for your wife's for for killing her. I don't know what else to say, sir. I mean, right now at this moment, I know it's upsetting. As you know, with my own hand, husband and wife. You're right. You know. Uh, but you keep, do you think you should be punished? I, yeah, I think I need to be punished. Okay. However, I'm, I'm saying, uh, you know, I keep, as I explained to my leadership and the medical staff here and the Barclay, that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm very stressed out. Having two or two, three hours sleep a night, four and a half hours, driving to work, driving back. Uh, you know what? We all, it's, uh, it's, it's a sir, we all live, I, I can tell you right now, I lived on very minimal sleep. I mean, it, it happens. We all live very, in today's 21st century, we live busy schedules. And you're trying to do the best for your family because that's how you're brought up, you know. I mean, you want to provide for your your daughter and your wife, and you felt all the weight on your shoulders. I mean, I'm sure that happened. Um, but the other thing is, you came into the hospital, okay? Why did you ask for a pastor or a religious person? I'm a pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, I just need to talk to him. Okay. And do that too. Is there a room? I think you already talked to one, uh -huh. and we don't have one available right now. But did you? What did you? Did you tell him the same thing he told us? No, not in detail. Okay, I, not I, as much detail as you told I, us. To, to tell the truth, I, I don't even know how it looks like. Okay. I was in, I was mostly in sleep, sleep mode, and as I was talking to you, you know, I'm just, you know, dozing off. So I like to know, uh, I, you know, whoever I talk to. Uh, I'm sure at some point you'll see him again. So, one other question, and I think Needles might have it. But let me ask you this. After you did this, why didn't you just call 911? Yeah, what's up? You, once again, don't back to right on right did, wrong. Did he already ask you that? No. Okay, I just make sure. I, I've asked, uh, uh, you know, when I... Uh, you mentioned 911. I kept, I, there's two things constantly ringing in my mind. A while I was driving for 12, 30, you know, 13 hours. I didn't pull it in here until 8 30, at the fourth hour. I drove around Manassas, the L City of Woodbridge, looking for peace, you know, place. Uh, and I, I had a Four pound, four four thousand pound on a hook, the wrench, carrying it around, you know, just see if I can put myself around the neck. Then, then uh, what, what were you expecting? Why didn't you call nine one one? Oh, nine one one. Um, so I, I I I thought about calling him. I didn't, my parents were calling me and I didn't answer and the other phone calls that I didn't call any of the phone calls. I got two, just uh, driving around, the only thing, the uh, only few things I was, I was thinking about is uh, my faith. It's bullshit, it sounds like a really 
probably not a good say to say that, that no, I'm, I'm a prom son. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure what it pans out uh, in the midst of this thing. That's why I kept, you know, driving, you know. I, my drive's well, drive the well, somehow, but my heart was pounding. The same thing is 911. And I, I kept telling Ken, hey, you're going to call 911? When are you going to do that? When are you going to do that? That thing kept me in my ear. And the full thing is that rope thing. I have to, uh, the first time I went to the open uh, uh, construction site down in the River Falls, like a quarter over there, big open space. And I used, uh, I used the electric power cord that they left behind with the letter surprisingly. They used a tiny one. But it was heat, high, hot, and humid, hot, and I was wrapping it up on the letter. Right. It didn't work out. Well, it didn't clearly work out. it didn't work out because you're here. And this morning, which is a good thing. And this, this thing, this thing here. This morning, I, you know, I drove up here and and uh, trying to get a room over here. Since I had a dog in the car, I, I didn't want a dog out in the car and check check it for for the room. So I pulled over to. Um, the Four Seasons area, and I took overdose of uh, 13 pills of Ambien. I was supposed to take one pill uh, each night, but it didn't do good. So, why didn't you kill the dog? It will. Why didn't you kill the dog? Why? That's that's Jewish dog. Maybe that's what it's. I don't. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You know. But you were taking it with you. What was the purpose of getting it out of the house? I would be, I would be by myself. You know. So I, I thought. So it was gonna be your friend. For at least, at least mm -hmm. for now. You know. Right. But anyway. Uh, No, so I have a question about, are you done? 911. What is it, 911 question? Yeah, you never really answered. That's okay. Okay, 911. I, I, I didn't get around to calling 911. Right. Um, I, I slowly, seriously thought about it. When I came home, and just, you know, I just come around home and just call. And when I went down, I went down to Fort Belvo building, and I, I thought about that. And I was... It didn't work out, so I went. I went over to other places. I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay. The um the dumbbells. You said the one was ten pounds. Do you know what the weight of the other one was? Yeah, I think it was ten pounds. Both both the dumbbells were ten pounds. Well, I'm not sure. It says two or ten. Two. One. Uh, two. And ten, so I guess twenty pounds. Okay, so oh, I'm not sure how it weighs. All right, but the, the one that you used on Joy, that was a, a ten pound one, mm -hmm. and the other one was bigger. The one that you used on Hannah was bigger. Yeah. Do you know how many more pounds was it? Was it? There's a letter in ten. Do you remember what color they were? Silver color. Silver color. What time did you leave yesterday? After this happened. Oh, that's around uh, probably a little after ten. I wasn't. I was so, so busy to watch anything like that. But uh, when I came down this uh, the night before, here's what I don't know if, you, if this this instant uh, addresses like a why question. Okay, we skipped school to straight straight. Uh, and yes, there was no no difference because I mean yesterday Sunday said yesterday was no difference because Sunday morning 
no, Saturday morning when we were looking for houses. Uh, This is what I'm explaining to one guy, a long answer. <clears throat> I want to give my shit for it. Uh, I explained to my daughter, my wife, after putting Joe to bed, <laughs> it was like starting midnight. And we didn't end up going to sleep until four in the morning. Uh, you know, we were talking about our association where. Uh, We need to get out of the condo. Did you guys fight? No. no. We, uh, I've never seen a fight. Are you talking about fist fight? No, they argue. Um, no. I'm arguing, arguing over, I, we don't, we don't argue that much. Just, uh, misunderstandings. Try anything else out. Let me, this is a legal thing. Will you mind? What's your last name? My uh, last name is spelled with two letters, Y. Okay, what's your first name? K E N. K E N. S T. Wait, K E N. S T O N. N? Mm -hmm. Kenson? Yes, sir. What's your middle name? Uh, full? Yes. K E N. K A N G. K A N G S O N. Kangson? Mm -hmm. And do you have an American name? That's it. Kinston? Kinston. But is that wrong? Your driver's license? Yeah, in some of the jobs. Okay, what's your home address? 9238. 9238. Cardinal C A R. C A R D I N A N. N A L N A N A L. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Uh, Taurus. Okay. Lane. Okay. Norton. Three hundred one. Three hundred one. Mm -hmm. Norton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. Which is it? Good. You know. Two two zero seven nine. Two two zero seven nine. Mm -hmm. You're an Asian male. How old are you, sir? Forty nine. Forty nine. What's your date of birth? Uh, um, March 16, no, Mar yeah, March 16, 61. What's your sister? 294 9814. Okay. How tall are you? 5'6. Five, 5'6. Five, How much you weigh? I did lose a lot of weight, 150. Color eyes? It's explicit. Brown, brown, brown. Brown eyes, black hair? Brown, blackish. Why do they look black? What's your home phone number? 702. Mm -hmm. 70, uh, 604. 604. Uh, I'm sorry, I said the number. Six, seven, one, three, six, four, six. I'm sorry. 646. Six. Four five, four five, four five four, four five four. Ah, seven one three, six eight four, four five four three. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Seven one three six four, seven seven one three six four, six four six. You need a phone? No, no. I'm trying to figure out. Uh, four five four three. What's your cell phone number? 703 601 6601 703 601 Uh, dang, what's going on with my 703 313 0101. Oh, that's your mom's cell phone number. I that's, the, that's the number you gave for your mom. I, I gave that to my, oh, that's my cell phone number. 3130101 is yours? Yeah, that's mine. Okay, that's the number that you gave us for your mother. Okay, that's my number. Uh, okay. If you give me a, you know, my handphone. 
Alright, let's go down and give you. Where's your work? I work on in the Crystal City. What's your address? And your name? Uh, National Guard Bureau. Okay, what's your address? Uh, one four one four one one one. Wait a minute, one four? Yeah, one four one one one. Okay. That's what it is. What's the street name? Jefferson Davis Highway. Yeah. What's the room? Sweet number. Um, 7100. Sweet 7100. Okay. All right. What's going to happen is we have a detective who takes photographs, come in and photograph you. Okay, he's going to collect your watch and your ring. You need your eyeglasses, so. So, and then we're then after that we're going to ride down and show us where you threw away the bar the dumbbells in the water. Okay. Can you can you take us back there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one other question: Is that your wedding ring? Yes, sir. Do you normally leave it on your left finger? Mm -hmm. When did you switch it over? Oh, I don't, I don't, I'll leave it here. That, is that a wedding ring? Yeah. It's always on your right? Yeah, I just keep it here. You don't wear it on your left? No, I use my crest ring here, but I don't okay. take it off. Okay. Where did you go to school? It's very embarrassing right now, but I went to, went to West Point. You went to West Point? When did you graduate? 86. Something there, so. So. I uh, I'm not a... We're not here to judge you, sir. Sorry, sorry. I'm not going to be embarrassed now. Okay? Sit tight. And, uh, we'll, be right, we'll be right outside the door. We're going to have the other detective just come in. Is there uh, um... He's, he'll be in the side. All right, so, so I'll be staying here. No, you're going to... What's going to happen is you're gonna, we're going to go down to the clock part. You'll show us where that is. Then we're going to go up to Fairfax, where you're going to be charged with murder. Okay? So you'll be at a, um, up at the jail up there for a little bit. Do I need to close? No, nah, they'll get you a jumpsuit or something. Because we're going to hold, hold on to your clothes there. Okay? But we'll talk about that in the car. And we'll see. Are you hungry? Yeah, I don't even need to hungry. Okay, either am I. So... As you can tell, I need to eat once in a while. But let, let us get that other guy. Uh, uh, as far as letting uh, supervisors know and anything, we'll take care, we'll take care of it. Um, please, I beg you, sir, do not call my mom. No, we won't. We won't. We won't. No, if you ask that, we won't do it. We'll talk to Charlie. And I'll give you Charlie's cell phone number. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you.